Hello, today is Tuesday, March 9th. Today I got my sticker mural keychains and for the most part, I'm happy with them. I've never gotten acrylic keychains, so I don't really know what the expectation of a high quality keychain is. I know a lot of people usually go through Google Grace to get their keychains, which is a manufacturer in China, I believe. And those are usually pretty high quality. Out of the 10 keychains, only one of them had a scrape in the art. And it's okay. I mean, I'm not too mad about it because I'll just use that keychain as a keychain to test on because I want to put UV reds in the back because the backs aren't protected. And I want to change the keychain on it and I kind of want to make it look pretty and like add ribbons and stuff to it. We'll see what I end up doing with that. But for the most part, I'm happy. They weren't that expensive. It was a deal. I don't think I could be too mad about it. Today, I'm going to pack an order. I have to prepare some stuff for it. So I'll be printing and cutting stuff for that order. But I also need to make a new circle label. When I pack the order in tissue paper, I usually put a round sticker. And so far, it has been the circle with Jamie on it with the little doodles. I think I'm gonna make a simpler one with Mei Ying art on it. And I kind of want to make it look like when you read it, it says my art. Because if you read me at my name, I don't have a middle name. So it would just be M-Y. So Mei Ying art, my art. I don't know what I'm gonna do. We'll see how it goes. That probably will take a while. Probably being late before I start packing the order. So that's probably the only plan for today. Right now, my Mr. Sun keychains are up here. They are up here so that they don't get damaged and moved around too much. I usually hang my keychain stuff up here and this is just the little hangers you get from Ikea. And they usually have a rod that goes in between them, but I don't really need that rod. So I just took the rod off now I'm just using these to hang up keychains and stuff. Let's get started. Hello everyone, today is Thursday, March 11th. Yesterday, I didn't film too much. 
I actually had an eye doctor's appointment and I really need new glasses. So it's really exciting to get new glasses soon. Also went to Michael's. I needed to buy more cardstock. I also needed to buy some yellow yarn for future projects. And then when I came back, I didn't really feel like filming too much. So I filmed a little bit of what I was doing yesterday. And I am working currently on this penguin needle punch. Um, right now it has blue felt on the back. And this is the front with the face. And here is the back. And just has my new making art logo on it. And I made it with transfer paper. And I think it looks really nice. So today we're going to turn this into a pouch. Hopefully it turns out well. I kind of have a little bit of an idea of what I'm going to do, but I'm not too sure yet. Hopefully it comes out well so I can maybe sell it in the Etsy shop. This does take a lot of work. So if I do end up putting this in the shop, it's going to be one of the more expensive products in my Etsy shop. And usually handmade items take a really long time to sell. So we'll see how it goes. If we finish that early, I would definitely like to work on the Mr. Sun acrylic charms I got earlier this week. So this week is a very arts and craft heavy week. Let's get started. <laughs> Today is Friday, March 12th. So yesterday I worked for a very, very long time on the pink gun pouch. And this is how it turned out. This is the front. I love how the penguin's face came out. I think he's really, really cute. So I'm going to take this whole thing apart and I'm going to at least keep the face. And maybe I'll put it on a tote bag or maybe I'll become a wall hanging. But I definitely don't like how it turned out. Here's the zipper and it's a pretty big zipper and then here's the bottom which is a lot smaller than the top. The sides aren't really sewed in really well because I kind of gave up after I figured out that I didn't like it. So I tried to over complicate it a lot more than I needed to and I think next time I'll be able to simplify it and make it a lot easier. Overall it was a nice experience so Next time, we'll just try to make a better product that actually turn out right. And I think maybe I'll try it again next week. I'm done with it for now this week. I feel like the studio vlog won't be too long because I look back at what I filmed and I haven't filmed too much. So I do apologize if this is a pretty short vlog. But I did spend hours and hours on this guy. So I don't think I need to record every little part of it. So today, we're going to clean out the desk. So we can make it a mess again because today we're going to work on the Mr. Sun keychains. I'm hoping that these will come out a lot better than the pink one pouch. The plan is to put UV resin on the back so they're protected because when you order acrylic stuff from Sticker Mule, for some reason they don't do anything to protect the back. But there's also probably the reason why they're able to get products out so fast. I'm hoping to get the backs protected and then do a little something else with the keychains to make them more fun so it's just not Mr. Sun on it. I'm thinking about maybe putting a bow on there and maybe some little other extra little beads and stuff on there. Let's get started. <laughs> Flies are floating like your red hair in the breeze. Spring awakening, new love takes me into lilac dreams. Lay beside me, whisper. 
All this stuff out because I wasn't sure what I was going to use. There's some beans and some chain and stuff. Also, these star keychains, I love them. I just ordered some more of these. Here's some beads and some tassels. And this is how they look before. So this has the protection in the front. The back isn't protected on this one. So we're going to put it back for now. And this is what I came up with. And I think I really like how it looks. Like this bead here, this blue bead is actually a lighter color than it shows in the video. But overall, I think this is what I'm going to do with them. I wanted to put a bow on here somewhere, but I don't have any pink ribbon. So there's not going to be any bow, but this is how I'm going to do them, I think. Today is Saturday, March 13th. So yesterday I was working on the Mr. Sun keychain. And this is what I have so far. It has these beads, a tassel, and Mr. Sun hanging on here. But I'm not totally in love with it. So I went to Michael's and just came back. And we're going to try to make it look more of how I wanted it to look like. But before we do that, I have some Happy Mail to open. First piece of Happy Mail is from, I'll probably say her name wrong, Rawness, Raw, Rawness Drawing. And I got this from doing a draw this in her style challenge that she did a while back. So let's open this up and see what's inside. How cute is that? Looks like she drew on the tissue paper. Her business card. Here's the information on the back. Here are her cute stickers. This is her cloud character named Fido. He's so cute. It's a little note card. I believe I chose these three stickers. And this one looks like she gave it to me for free. They're super cute. Fido is such a cute character. So thank you so much. Well, Noah's drawings. Here's another one from Honey and Vinegar Stick. Look how cute these stickers are. The frog sticker and the Yeti. And thank you so much, Sierra, for the kind note that was on the back of the envelope. It makes me happy to read that kind of stuff. Look how nice this packaging is. Here you can find Honey Vinegar Sticks Etsy and Instagram and Facebook. Oh my goodness, look how cute these are. I feel like you literally gave me almost everything in your shop. I'm going to have to open these and lay them out. I'm going to have like a... 30 minute vlog just talking about the stickers so this is everything she sent me and wow that's a lot of stuff i honestly don't think i deserve all this i really love these small ones i'm thinking maybe i should start making some small one like these for planners because they're so cute 
this i love this so i'm definitely going to be using this one a lot look at the froggies and this i remember seeing her post this on instagram i thought it was so cute boba tea and this yeti i don't deserve it but thank you so much i appreciate it Before I go, there's one more thing I wanted to mention is an idea that I came up with. I am thinking of doing something where I create a bundle out of the things I make for the month. So for example, this month, if I was going to make a bundle, it would have the lemon sticker pack in it and whatever else I create this month. And I would sell it as a March monthly bundle. So it's kind of like Patreon. But not patreon because patreon is more like structured and it's more like based on a theme for each month but this bundle would be something i just put on etsy if you want everything that I created for that particular month you can get it from my etsy shop for a discounted price i think that's a really cool idea i'm still thinking about it there will be months where there will be probably more products than the other it just depends on what I make. It will just mainly be the stationary items like stickers, letter paper, and so on because it will be hard to bundle up handmade items with that. So there won't be any candy wrappers, charms, or acrylic keychains in them. We'll see if that happens. So that will be it for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!